This is speaking as white people. How many times do we check our privilege? It can be uncomfortable for many to do, but recently Twitch from the Ellen Show and of course Dancing with the Stars. No, excuse me, So You Think You Can Dance and his wife Allison Holker, also from So You Think You Can Dance, showed the realities of white privilege on TikTok, which is becoming such a platform. Take a look. Check your privilege edition. Put a finger down if you have been called a racial slur. Put a finger down if you've been followed in a store unnecessarily. Put a finger down if someone has crossed the street to avoid passing you. Put a finger down if you've ever had to teach your child how not to get killed by the police. Any fingers left? That's privilege. Visuals. TikTok, huh, Al? I know this is interesting, but you brought it up. Is TikTok a new platform and to at least give us a visual of what it's like? And what do you have to say about white privilege? What does it mean to you? I know that's a lot to unpack. Uh, well, yeah, just really quickly, TikTok is one of the fastest growing social media uh, platforms because you have access to music on there. So a lot of people make mm. funny dances and videos. Uh, so that's that, that's kind of the appeal with TikTok. Um, and you can edit it pretty easily. Mm. Uh, as for white privilege, I, I do think it's an ongoing evolutionary thing for a lot of people. And I know it's hard for people to believe because if you are a person of color, no different than if you're a man and a woman says that uh, there's inequality in the workplace. And you're like, it seems cool. We got jeans on Friday and we, we do a Super Bowl party. It's like, no, you don't understand what I deal with day to day. It's like, it's very hard for people to empathize with people that are different than them. And people are slowly coming around the, to the idea that things aren't uh, equal and they never really, they ne never have been. You know what gave me hope, Al, is that for the very first time, we might have a graphic or not, but they showed how many states are participating in mass mobilization against police brutality. I saw that. And it was 50 states. And I, and I was like, someone wrote, when's the last time all 50 states agreed on anything? Maybe we're on to something, huh? Not in my lifetime. Not in my lifetime either. Well, I want to get this story and get your opinion, Steph. A mother lashed out at Nickelodeon for playing a PSA.